quote. He says to CBS News this morning, uh, the, uh, we'll let the FBI's search and DOJ investigation of former President Trump play out before jumping to conclusions. See, can, 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 I'll give you some. Con- hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. Let me give you some conclusions here. You ever heard of the Mueller probe, Tim? I did that whole, let's let it play out before jumping conclusion. Remember those shows in 2017? Yeah, we did. Good times, man. Good times. And here's what we got, okay? What we got was a Mueller probe that proved the entire thing was a, was made up. Actually convened a U.S. attorney in the in this one of the districts in New York. And the only person who went to prison was Michael Cohen. They just convened another U.S. attorney's office in New York. To look into Trump, they just shut down their 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 investigation without any indictments. They just quietly backed into the bushes. So they got all the screaming headlines: U.S. Attorney's Office investigating Trump in New York. They just shut this thing down like ten minutes ago. Nothing. We went through an impeachment over whether or not he tried to convince the Ukrainians to give him dirt on Joe Biden. Before we found out that the Ukrainians had dirt on Joe Biden. Because that's where his son, who was his primary business handler, he had two major clients. And who were they? China and Ukraine. So, Tim, dumbass, pardon me if we're not at the point of jumping to conclusions, brah. You can jump. <laughs> You can you can take a jump on your own. Get the hell out of here, man. Get out of here with that. That's beyond pathetic. Let it play out. We've been letting this thing play out for five damn years. And all we got out of it was an impeachment over something that turned out to be true. After the fact, let it play out. You're played out, bro. You played yourself. Get the hell out. Get the hell out. And I am freaking just beyond tired of your fake ass red states. You give us Lindsey Graham. Who eats off the bottoms menu? You give us Trey Gowdy, who goes on Fox last week to say, "Well, would you rather have the school shedding first or your or your constitutional rights first? I can get that from Joy, dude. Nancy Mace macing her constituents with rainbow flags. Nikki Haley, who went on TV over the weekend and credited NATO with saving America. We're bleeping NATO. Wouldn't exist. And there wouldn't be a country called France or England if it wasn't for us, Nick. And now, Tim, let it play out. You thought you would have thought you guys would have gotten like one of these rights. One. How the hell did Mr. How did quintessential red state South Carolina miss on them all? Gosh, we're a joke, and we just suck at this. We're fake news. I hope you enjoyed CPAC Dallas. Goodness. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.